Jordan, how much do you feel like you've grown in, in your couple of years here? And, and you've been bitten by the injury bug a little bit um, during your time. How, how frustrating has that been? Because it feels like you're ready to, to make a move and then you kind of have a little bit of a setback and then, you know, it happens again. Uh, I think, man, uh, I try to look at the setbacks as, in a positive way. Um, I know you know, God has a plan for everyone, including me, and I just try to look at it in a positive way. Uh, like, I didn't want to, like, uh, mess up or um, I just wanted to lock in on whatever I could in the moment, um, get better rehab. I was really straining to um, f focus on my on the mentality of the game, like the playbook and all that, and uh, learning the scheme and uh, defensive uh, just knowing the defense in and out and knowing offensive, uh, the offensive plays. and uh, But, yeah, I, I feel like I grow um, as a leader, uh, as a player as well. Uh, I've been focusing on my leadership skills um, uh, recently, uh, being more vocal and um, just helping the younger guys. But uh, on the field, I feel like I've, like, uh, keyed into my details more as a DB. Um, I'm, I'm a versatile DB, so I try to learn uh, the answer out of every uh, the, um, position, like the star and free safety and the strong safety in the back end. So um, just really being more detail-oriented uh, and just um, learning the game in and out. Jordan, specifically in the last season, you played most of the Missouri game. You get to start against Georgia, get hurt early. I know you've kind of been waiting your turn. Was that tough to take that specific moment, and, and you feel like now your time is here going into your third year? Um, can you say it one more time? You said Missouri. Last year, you, you, know, you played most of the Missouri game. You started yeah. against Georgia, I think, got hurt. Oh, yeah, first Georgia. Series. Yeah. Was, how tough was that, knowing that you've kind of waited your turn, and, and do you feel like now going into your third year, this is kind of your time to kind of take over? Yeah, man. Uh, honestly, I was looking forward to that game. Uh, I was looking forward to have a big game, big game against a uh, good competition. I was ready to go against Brock and um, Jack St. All those guys, um, whoever I lined up against. But when I got hurt, uh, it's something that I wasn't looking forward to. I didn't think it would happen. I was just ready to go out and ball. But um, – it was, it was really frustrating, and I was uh, frustrated. But, you know, after it happened, I just tried to be positive and help my teammates. Um, I tried to get back in the game, uh, but it just didn't work out. Uh, so I tried to be um, a guy in everyone's ear, uh, lifting them up, uh, making sure they know everything that's going on in the game, the situation, uh, the different situations in the game, uh, what to look for uh, and all that. But um, it was very frustrating. But I'm glad that I had to. Um, I got to come back for the um, hour game and um, do my job. Yeah, I think so. Yes, sir. Who would you say are some of the guys among the secondary that have really stepped up as leaders that the newer and younger guys are able to look up to? Uh, I don't mean to. I mean, I think I did for sure. Uh, um, Andre Turntine, Will Brooks. Uh, those guys are really stepping up, um, really focused on uh, helping those guys uh, learn the scheme of the defense. Um, uh, anytime they need help, we're always available for them. Uh, and we just, I think those guys, the young guys have a great uh, care factor. And so they're always attentive and learning and um, they want to get better and they want to be great. So we're happy for them. And for you, there was a lot of older guys that, that were here that you played with the last two years. Now a lot of those guys have moved on. Now you're kind of one of the older guys. There's a lot of newcomers, young guys. How, how different is the dynamic in, in the room with the DBs? And, and you talked about being more of a leader. Do you feel like you had to do that just because of sort of what happened around you and who left and who came in? Uh, I didn't feel like, I mean, it was it was personally, this, this is what I wanted to be. I want to be a leader, and I want to um, help people. And... Um, grab their hand and, you know, help them on, along the way. So it wasn't pressure, but I feel like I owe it, I owe it, I owed it to, like, the guys to help me, like Tank and T-Mac, all those guys, Wes, um, when they were here. Uh, I learned so much from them when I, when I first came in. And so uh, I just uh, con continued to gain all the knowledge that they gave me. I stored it up. Uh, and I just try to pay it back to the young guys now. It's only right. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, y'all.